Hello students in this video let's discuss about economics third chapter money and credit in this video i have given some important questions uh, this will be very useful during your exam so watch this video without skipping let's move into the video i have given about role of rbi so rbi expansion is reserve bank of india so the first one is it supervises other banks and it issues uh, that is rbi issues currency and the third point it is a bankers bank then fourth point it is banker to the government then fifth one it ensures foreign exchange management and you can include one more point that is it regulates monetary policies that is money related policies okay that's all i hope you understood the next question is limitations of barter system that is barter system first of all you must know the definition of barter system that is exchange of goods without the use of money is known as barter system nowadays we are using money as a medium of exchange right but uh, in olden days they have used this system that is barter system what are the limitation that is drawbacks of the system that is first point lack of double coincidence of ones then lack of measure of value lack of store of value lack of standard deferred fee payment okay so these are the limitations of barter systems so important point is lack of double coincidence of wants okay double coincidence of wants in a sense that means mutual needs is essential uh, for barter system that is lacking so this is one of the drawbacks in barter system in addition to this question you must know about one more question that is why money is accepted as a medium of exchange that means uh, you have to write uh, this answer that is money is accepted as medium of exchange because it is authorized or approved by the government and uh, citizens cannot refuse the usage of money and no other organization having the rights to print money so these are that's why money is accepted as a medium of exchange i hope you understood so this question also you can include in your include this in your notes the next question is difference between formal sources of credit and informal sources of credit so the first point is formal sources include banks and cooperatives here informal sources include money lenders traders businessmen and relatives in banks and cooperatives they in it they give with reasonable interest but in informal sources of credit the interest rate is very high okay here rbi supervise informal sector no one is there to supervise and they have their own rules and regulations and they used to ask collateral in banks they used to ask collateral here they won't ask any collateral then before repaying the old loan you cannot get new loan from banks but if you take my money lender or else trader you can get cycle of loans before uh, repaying the old loans and the major drawback is the formal source of credit that you cannot get immediate loans it is it's a time consuming process but informal sources of credit you can get emergency loan these are the points included i hope you understood